Yelp is full to the brim with customer reviews. These help businesses understand their performance as it is perceived by their customers. The data behind these reviews can also be used for competitor research. Today, we will go over how to scrape customer reviews from Yelp. A web scraper will allow you to choose the specific business and reviews you'd like to scrape from Yelp. You can then download these as an Excel or JSON file for further analysis. For this example, we will use Parsub, a free and powerful web scraper that can scrape any website. Make sure to download and install Parsub for free through the link in the description or at parsub.com. It's now time to get scraping. For this example, we will scrape reviews from a Panera Bread location. First, boot up Parsub, click on New Project, and enter the URL you will be scraping data from. Parsub will now render the page inside the app and let you make your first selection. Scroll down to the review section of the page and click on the name of the first user. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. The rest of the names on the page will now be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second one in the list to select them all. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to user. Click on the plus sign next to your user selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative command, click on the name of the first user in the list and then on their location. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to location. Repeat the previous steps to add other data, such as data of the review and the content of the review. Rename your selections accordingly. When adding the rating score, you will notice Parsub does not extract any data by default. To solve this, select your rating relative select and expand it by clicking on the icon next to it. Click on your rating extraction and then on the Extract dropdown and select ARIA Label Attribute. Parsub will now pull the rating data for every review. After adding all other elements, your project should look like this. Feel free to pause this video to have a closer look. Parsub is now pulling all reviews and data from the first page of Reviews. We will now set it up to scrape additional pages. Click on the plus sign next to the page selection and choose the Select command. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and select the next page arrow at the bottom. Rename your selection to Next. Expand your next selection and delete the extraction under it. Click on the plus sign next to your next selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is a next page button. Click on yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat the process. In this case, we will repeat it three times. It's now time to run your scrape. To do this, click on the green get data button in the left sidebar. You will now be able to test, run, or schedule your scraping project. In this case, we will run it right away. Parsa will now go and extract the data you've requested from Yelp's website. Once the scrape is complete, you will be able to download your data as an Excel or JSON file. You now know how to scrape and extract reviews from Yelp. However, you might be interested in downloading additional data from Yelp, such as business addresses and phone numbers. To do this, check out our video on how to scrape Yelp data, including phone numbers, addresses, and more. Just click on the card that is on the screen right now. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.